and then trying to get the crowd into it's enough to irritate anybody. Right now we got this. It's going to be a lot heavyweight title match. Referee Mark Foley for this event. This match on the, of the second hour, our second program here for ECCW. There's the bell to start our action right here. Finally, we're going to get this match underway. Wait, you're, you're a champion. Right now, what's going through William Wells' mind here? Well, you're thinking about not making no mistakes, and you're wondering, you know, just what Lightning's going to be able to pull out on you here. Not being able to scout that much and not knowing what Lightning's going to do next, that's your big concern. You're exactly right, Blade. You, you being the heavyweight champion, you have to have to uh, fend off many challengers. And, you know, you've, you've been champion now for several months. And uh, you've had a rough go of it, but you've held on to that title. Yeah, I have. William Wells here needs to keep his mind on lightning because if he takes it, if he don't concentrate on what he's doing, he will lose that title. Beautiful series of arm drags there, but lightning. Beautiful drop kick. Beautiful drop kick. William Wells in for the ride. Oh, good reversal. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Say, one thing about these light heavyweights, Blade. I know that you rely a lot, lot, lot on your strength and your power in your matches. You're, you're, you're a big, well put together man. These, these light heavyweights, they have to rely on their speed and their cunning in these matches. Well, you know, that's right, Lance. And uh, you'll never see Blade doing a lot of this stuff these little light ass, I mean, light guys do. That's right, Blade. Uh, you're, you're awesome. There you go. See, now William Well, he. He's getting the momentum back his way. I guess the thing on every, every champion's mind, Blake, to hold on those titles at any cost. Is that right? That's right, Gene. <laughs> Referee reprimanded William Wells III for a, a, what was undoubtedly an illegal tactic. Now, I wouldn't go call it illegal. You've got to the count of five to break it. So, you know, you know use all you can. Nice tip over. Lightning up and over. Oh, this lightning kid's got a lot of potential, but we'll see if the experience of William Wealth wins out. That was a good veteran move right there. Beautiful clothesline there by William Wealth III, the light heavyweight champion. Down at two. See, he's taking too long. I'd be right back on him if it was me. I wouldn't give him time to do it. Well, Blake, we've seen what happened last week. You know, they, it, you signed the match to wrestle uh, uh, one of these light heavyweights, and you went in the ring and just demolished him. Well, that's what happens when you put one of these lightweights in against the world champion, Lance. Well, you definitely are the world champion. Say before you've hung on that title now for several months, you've got some strong defenses coming up against you, though, I must say. 
So you take your lights, uh, you take your eyes off these guys for just a minute, and they're gonna do something that's gonna hurt you. Nice move. What he's setting up for now, Blade. What's going to happen? I don't know. I haven't seen lining work that much, so, you know, this is all new territory to me. Oh, baseball slide right into the face. That's bound to hurt. Well, that's going to take some steam out of William Wells III. Referee exercising the king count. See, this works to William Wells' favor right here because he can't lose a title on the count out. Well, that's, de that's definitely right, Blade, and uh, you being a champion, I'm sure you, you may have took some some uh, advantages like that yourself on occasion. Me? I beat people right square in the ring, Lance. I don't have to resort to stuff like getting counted out. Oh, now, see, Wayne? Oh, there you go. And, Blade, that's what I'm talking about. You can't tell me if that wasn't a, it's a, a cheap trick, a cheap tactic. Well, it depends on what you consider cheap. There's gray areas in the rules, and you've got to wrestle within those gray areas or you will lose. So what you tell me, it depends on what the referee sees. Is that right? That's it. It's only illegal if you get caught. See, why isn't that illegal? Because it's a legal move. It's an inverted atomic drop. Oh. That should be it. There we go. There's the bell, William Wells III retains the light heavyweight title. Right there is experience and determination. Wait, right there where we see it, William Wells still the light. ECCW fans, we're here tonight with Tommy Gunn, and we're going to talk to him about Bill Mudd's injuries. He and Bill are really good friends. And Tommy Gunn, we'd like to know how you feel about Ricky Noble and his entourage of thugs beating up Bill Mudd and, and how he's doing. I've been around the sport of professional wrestling for quite some time, and I've witnessed some diabolical acts by some desperate individuals. But the systematic dismantling of Bill Mudd by Ricky Noble and his band of hooligans is more than I can stand. It's a slap in the face to professional wrestling. It's a slap in the face to the great fans of ECCW, and it's a slap in the face to Tommy Gunn. You know, Bill Mudd is not the sharpest tool in the shed, but he is my friend. And in honor of my friend tonight, I'm going to start a coalition to take the trash out of ECCW. And we're going to start with Ricky Noble and his merry little band of hooligans. And it's going to start tonight on this show. Does he think you can beat him? I can beat him, man. I don't know, man. What do you mean you don't know? You can't even beat me at checkers. You going to beat him? All I need, <laughs> all I need to do, all I need to do is get this little man up there and get him. Dude, you can beat him. I, I think you can beat him. No, I can beat him. I think you can. I think I, I know I can. I don't think. I know I can. Okay. If you beat me at checkers, I say you. <laughs> so I don't think you can be. All I need to do is get that little man up here and get king, and I'll be all right. Dude, look, I ain't got one more move to go king me. Oh, oh <laughs> you goofed up, man. Check this out. Ah, 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 ah. Dude, now you check this out. I'm going to get him right now. <laughs> Please go <don't> kill him. <laughs> it's going to be funny. Go kill him. <laughs> Boom. <sighs> I said the comment about she is a beautiful lady. Thank you very much. I, I think she's a very beautiful lady. She does nothing but... Oh, who's it? Oh, it's Dr. Feelgood, one half of the ECCW Tag Team Changes of the World. Hey, here's another man that's been around the block. Held on to the tag team titles now for, for close to six months now. Well, it's easy to hang on to them, G or Lance, when you don't work nobody, or you don't, you don't, you don't wrestle, you don't defend your title. It's easy to hang on to it. Well, now, I don't know about that, Blaze. These bad medicine, Dr. Good and Mike Payne have defended those titles as well. You have the heavyweight title. Ah, you know what though? This is a somebody else. Him and Mike, him and him and Payne are another two that, you know, there's no luck. You know, Blade don't get along with nobody in ECCW. Is it because these guys are a threat to your title, Blade? There's no one a threat to me. I've proved that time and again. And his opponents will be who? 
I thought it was going to be Hillbilly Jethro. Hillbilly Jethro. Well, he would have fit in right here in Lenore in Caldwell County, North Carolina, because he looks like he's one of them. Well, he's definitely one of them, Blaine. <laughs> Hillbilly Jethro. You got, you got one half the tag team champions. Where is the other half? You know, I think Mike Payne is out on the injury list tonight. And uh, he suffered an injury two weeks ago in a show, in an ECW show. Now, there's the power of the big 400-pound yeah. Jethro. Well, Dr. Phil goes not to use his head on this one. You can't attack that big man straight on. Well, no, that's, that, you're true. You're, you're true about that, Blake. Now, how would you, being the champion, how would you defend against Neil Billy Jethro? Well, there's one thing about it, Lance. I don't care, I don't care how big and how strong you are. You take a man's legs out from under him, that strength don't do him any good at all. Jake, that, that's another bad move. That's all it is, the strength and power of this Hillbilly Jethro. See, that was Hillbilly Jethro making a mistake. The veteran, I mean, the veteran ring savage will feel good. Will, he'll rise to the top, unfortunately. Well, no doubt about that. I mean, he didn't get to be a champion just by, just by being a nice guy and not bending the rules once in a while. Same goes for you, I might add. Oh, I've been known to break a rule or two. Who's just here coming out? Oh, it's, it's the uh, mass medic. Oh, it's the mass medic. What's going here? Hey, what's the referee doing? Huh? Everybody Jethro is taking care of both men right now. Look, look at this. Hey, mass medic, you sure that wasn't Mike Payne? <laughs> Might not look like him. My sheet says Mike Payne's been on the injury list. Oh, that's a lot of weight hitting that ring at one time. Oh, now you have to score this as a major upset, Lance Star. Hillbilly Jethro just pinned one half, half the tag, tag team champions. Bad man, we're talking about Dolph Duga, a champion. Hey, this has to go down as a major upset. This is probably the upset of the night. Now, this isn't going to set too well, I can tell you right now, with, with uh, Dr. Bill good right now. Here he is. The watchable one himself, it's Ricky Noble, the commissioner. You know, Blake, that's the office I held for two years. Ricky Noble brought me in to ECCW as the commissioner to restore law and order here in the ECCW. And now he come in, and you seen what happened last week. I still got the knot on my head to prove it. You seen what happened last week. I mean, it's a grudge match. Last week we heard Ricky Noble out here com commentary with Reverend Slim. And we heard some of the things that went on between those two. So I tell you what, this tonight, Raven Slim is going to take care of business right here tonight. Well, that remains to be seen, Lance. There he is, the Reverend. No love lost between me and him either. Well, you as the heavyweight champion have defended, I'm sure, against both these gentlemen, have you not? Yes, I have. And there's no two tougher men in the ECCW as far as Blade's concerned, except maybe Bill Mudd. And, you know, I've got victories. Oh, I've held the title for months, as you said. And, you know, right now they're all just wrestling for second place. Well, I guess right now any, any win right here can boost either one of these gentlemen right up to the top of the ladder for a contention for that title that you're carrying with you now. Well, that's true, Lance. A win by either one of them could bump them right up there to get to be the next victim of play. That's all they're going to be. Let's see what they can do here to each other. This is going to be a very interesting match. Here we've got a referee, Mr. James Scott. Look, Ricky Noble jumps. Jumps Raven Slim right hard to the full the bell even ring. It's part of the sport, Lance. You know that. You've been in this business long enough to know what goes on. Yeah, but Blade, the thing about it is this. Both these two gentlemen don't need to take shortcuts. They're just that good. They're that good in the ring. They know what's going on. They know what's going down. And they don't need to be taken short. Oh, nice power slam by Ricky Noble. Ripper right down for the count. Two count. Oh, it's way too early for a count on slam. Oh, definitely. 
And for that nice baseball slide. Oh, hey, now is that illegal now that he's hitting him with a closed fist? Now, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it is illegal. Closed fist in ECW is illegal. Oh. One thing about the Reverend, he's about to wind it up. Oh. See, the referee stopped him out there. The referee is exercising his control in that ring. Yeah, but you see how Ricky Noble took that as a time to move on out. Slam in for the ride there, and nearly over the top rope. Oh. Oh, my nice God. Nice sidewalk slam. He wouldn't have to give it to both these athletes. Ricky Noble, and I'm not taking nothing away from him, Blade. He's a heck of an athlete. I mean, he, he's in top contention for any title, and with the set to the light Hayward title here in ECCW. Yes, he is. So is Reverend Slim. Reverend Slim is a tough customer. Don't let the dancing and the charisma and the preaching fool you. He is one tough individual. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Oh, oh that'll make you sing high like Michael Jackson. <laughs> You're exactly right about that, Blade. Now, you see what that got Ricky Noble. Well, sometimes it pays off. Sometimes it don't. Nice bulldog by the Reverend. There's Slim going for the 10th pin. Two count. Like you mentioned a while ago that you wrestled both these guys, uh, and you mentioned that they're both top, top competitors for your title. Yes, they are. Do you consider these guys a threat tonight for your title? Tonight, no. No, they're no threat tonight. And after they get through beating the crap out of each other, they ain't going to have nothing left to play. So, so what you're saying is that if you put that title on the line against either one of these two gentlemen, right? Anytime, anywhere. You know that, Lance. Hey, people can say what they want to, but Blade has been the fighting champion. Well, that's true. You know, you haven't done any challengers. You put the title up against, like we said before, Reverend Slim, Ricky Noble, Big Bill Mudd, Tommy Gunn, and, and you held on to the title. Oh, beautiful neck break. Oh, and it's over. I can't believe that. I said that was such a fast match. Yeah, that was. That's unbelievable right there, Lance. I'm here to tell you, I have never seen Rick Noble go down that quick in a match. I'll tell you what, Rick Noble's going to find out, Blake, this officer commissioner is not what he thinks it's going to be. Now, I spent many restless nights having to, uh, having them to spend nights wondering about the matches, who I was going to put where, what titles are going to be on, on the line, and to pick a contender for the title. Oh, he's mad now. I think he ought to exercise his commissionership and just throw that match out. You I know, don't think he should allow, allow that. I really don't doubt that's what he'll do, I tell you. Ricky Noble, the ECCW fans want to know how it feels to be pinned by Reverend Slim, especially after you challenged him to the match. Wendy, take a look at that. What does that say? That says, I am the commissioner, and I invoke my power as a commissioner to overturn that travesty of justice that just happened in the ring. I overturn the decision, and you want to know why? I don't need a reason why. I'm the commissioner. See what it says on the paper? Can you read? Can we please get a better, better announcer in here? I'm going to make some changes here in the ECCW. As commissioner, I'm giving the fans what they want. The fans don't want to see big Bill Mudd bouncing around. They don't want to see dancing Reverend Slim. They want to see class. They want to see the most watchable man in wrestling, Ricky Noble. And I'm going to give them that. I know you want it. That's why I flaunt it. Yeah, yeah, two exotic dancers. Look, the man's... Uh, you girls enjoying your little game of checkers? Hold on one second. Hey, I've got a game we're getting ready to play. It's called Tommy Gunn and a mystery partner kicks Abel in Kenny's ass. Really? Oh, yeah. Sit down, little man. I'm not finished. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Coming in our room. In our room. Interrupting our game. Interrupting the game. And you're going to sit here and talk junk to us? You got a partner. Oh, I've got a partner. I've got a big, stinking, mean partner. And tonight, we're going to start taking the trash out of ECCW. Oh, so you're leaving early? No, we're going to start. <laughs> you big, hefty sacks of crap. And just go on, man. Leave us on. Let's play our game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is not messing up the game. This is messing up the game. back with wrestling action here tonight. ECCW here at Patterson, North Carolina. We've got tag team action. Hey, 
It's Blade. It, it's part of Blade's boys. It's Tommy, uh, Abel Adams, and Kenny B. You know, these are two guys that I respect, and I have a lot of respect for. But... Hey, it's Tommy Gunn. Tommy Gunn, a former tag team champion, a former ECW heavyweight champion, that you've had several run-ins with yourself. Yeah, Tommy Gunn, I mean, he's, he's like I said, ECCW has got the top competitors. And if you crawl in the ring with anybody here on any given night, you're in for a tough match. Well, you're right, Blade. Right here, Tommy Gunn by himself. Now, what's going on here? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Where's the commissioner to make a ruling? Well, I'm sure if he could be out here, he sure would. Uh, what's this? Is this a mystery partner? Well, we got Tommy Gunn by himself. Now, who's... Oh, my God. When did he come back to ECCW? Well, you know, he's, he's been running running Rampage down in South Carolina, and uh, I know Tommy Gunn had mentioned about bringing someone to help watch his back. It gets people like you, it's people like TV, people like Abel Adams, boy. People like me? You know, the only reason you need somebody to watch your back is because you're getting your butt handed to you, is all I can say. But Tommy Gunn is uh, sporting an injury on, on that left arm. Yeah, that happened uh, a few weeks ago in a in an ECCW match. Uh, I think I think I heard through the grapevine that I broke his wrist. Okay. Okay, Blade, well, well, I guess we'll have to set that as fact, then, well, won't we? Well, if I say it, you pretty much guarantee it. Okay. Well, we're going to go to tag team action here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get this one started. Let's see who's going to start here. Oh, it's going to be Tommy Gunn starting for his team. Well, imagine that. And Big A Blam starting for his team. You know, what I don't like is these fans out here calling my boys Barney. You know, that's, that's very disrespectful to two top caliber athletes. Well, there's no taking anything away from either of these four gentlemen. And they're all four big men, Blade, as you are. And uh, I consider any one of these four men a threat to your title. Well, if you say so, Lance. And then you've got to take it like this. These two teams could be a threat to the tag team times also. Yeah, especially with Mike Payne being down, I hear that Feel Good is still having to defend the title whether Payne's here or not. Beautiful backdrop with Tommy Gunn. Oh, beautiful another beautiful backdrop. Back. Oh, Mack Truck feeds in. Now, he's the illegal man. That referee ought to be getting Mack Truck out right now. Well, you're right. Now, these tag team matches are, are very difficult to officiate. I've been special guest referee on several of them, and they're a handful. I have to, I have to hand credit here to Mark Foley, senior referee here in the ECCW. He's got his handful, my blade. Oh, he's a fine referee, and I'm sure he does, but still. He needs to get Mack Truck where Mack Truck belongs. Yeah. Well, you're right about that. And he's going to have to have two sets of eyes here in this match. So this is smart by, by Kenny V and Abel to slow the match down. They had a lot of momentum going their way here early, so they slowed them down. Now they're getting Mack Truck in the ring. Let's see what the big man can do. Oh, that was uncalled for. Oh, yes, it was. Oh. Big boot to the face. That hurts. I've been on receiving end of that before. Last one, just want to say, Blake, you wrestle Mack Truck, you wrestle Tommy Gunn. Now, what does your boys have to do here in this match to come out at the pay window? What they have to do is stay focused. The thing with Tommy Gunn and Mack Truck, again, you got to get these big men off their feet. They have no power on that mat. That was a good shot. I don't understand what... See, that's the great equalizer right there, Lance. Well, you're right, uh, Blake. You can you use a move like that and, and bring the match down to your level. I don't care how small a man is. A good small man can a good small man can beat a good big man any day of the week. Is that right? That's right. Except you, of course, I'm Except sure. Except me. Well, I won't say a good small man can beat a good big man. A good big man can beat a good small man. But, you know, right here, Kenny V and Abel have gone to, to the leg. If you're going to take the big men off their feet, you get that leg, you work that leg, and, you know, you take him off his power base. Well, that goes back to uh, taking a page out of the book of the Anderson Brothers, and uh, we all know how they, they were. They picked the body part, they worked on it, they wigged it down, and finally they, they had to take the men out with it. 
That's right. All great tag teams will do that. They'll isolate one potty part. They'll cut the ring off, use half the ring, and keep one man in. And keep, keep the pressure on him. Well, you've been in tag team matches, I'm sure. What do these partners have to do on the outside of the ring? Well, Matt Crook has to stay outside the ring because anytime he drives the referee away from what's going on in the ring, he's just setting Tommy up to be hurt. Uh, Tommy Gunn, I mean, Abel Adams, I'm sorry, is going to work on the leg of Tommy Gunn. Oh, yeah, they've worked that leg well. That's, that's exactly what they needed to do right there. So they've isolated him. Matt can't get in. They're working one body part. They're keeping him off his feet, away from his power. And what the longer this match goes, I have to agree with you on this way. I've got to give the give the momentum to Abel and Kenny B. Plus, you got to remember, Kenny B and Abel's been tagging for a while. Matt Truck and Tommy Gunn, this is their first tag match together. So, that, you know, they're, they're not going to be in sync the way that Abel and uh, Kenny B are. Oh, you're right about that. To my knowledge, this is their first time being a, being a, 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 a tag team. So, oh, see how Kenny B cut him off. Right before he could make the tag, he cut him off. That's, cut, that, that's smart tag team wrestling. Well, you're right. But now, you can't take nothing away from Tommy Gunn either. No, Tommy. Tom, no, Tom, Tommy Gunn has been a former tag team champion uh, with uh, Tracy James. He's had several partners. They, they've worked well together. They held the title for a pretty good little while, I must say, until they were defeated by Bad Medicine. Yeah, but see... Him and Tracy had been together for a long time before, you know, they they were in sync. They knew what each other was going to do without having to think about it. And that's the big thing about tag teams. You know what your partner is going to do without having to think or talk. You just do it. That's right. Tag teams work like a well oiled machine. That's a beautiful net breaker by Tommy Gunn. Now, this is his chance to make a tag to Big Mac that's Truck. It. This is it right here. He's got to get Mac Truck in the match here. If not, it's over for him. Tell you what, right now, if, uh, also, Kenny B's making a tag. There he made the uh -oh, tag to Big Mac. Go. Oh, Mac Truck's in now. Watch him. Close fist. That's that's blatant illegal right there. I'm not arguing with her, Blade. It is. See, it? why ain't the referee stepping in and doing something about that? Well, the referee can just do so much, Blade. He's doing his best tonight, and he's a senior Oh, pitcher. goodness. Double choke slam. There it goes. Kind of one. Two and three. And there it is. Oh, that wasn't three. He jumped. Oh, this is a travesty. I can't believe my guys went down like that. But how about that? Your guys, your guys come up on the losing end. Exciting, action-packed, half-hour show of ECCW. It's been my pleasure to have you here with me. Well, thanks for letting me come out here and sit with you, Lance, and commentate on these matches. And... I'm sure we're going to have a big show for the fans next week. All right, to you next week, fans, right here for ECCW.